I have an Android phone, so when Super Mario Run came to the iPhone, I was pretty disappointed. But today, Super Mario Run finally made its way to the Google Play Store. Van Buren 20 back again and today I figured we'd go ahead and play Super Mario Run. This is going to be kind of like a first impressions slash review of Super Mario Run. I did play the first level, the one that you get to play for free, but I did go ahead and purchase um, the rest of the game and I'll t explain that here in a little bit and tell you what that's all about. So let's go ahead and open up the game here so I can show you what I'm talking about. So this game is actually a free download on the Google Play Store, which is, you know, really cool. But if you actually want to actually experience the whole game, it costs $9.99. So that's, I don't know, that's kind of a lot of money to ask, I think, for a simple download game with only six worlds. But we'll talk about that here in a second, why I still think it might be worth a purchase. So as you can see here, I, I've already completed World 1. And if you click here, right here on the first level... Um, you can see there's three different coins. There's a pink coin, a purple coin, and a black coin. Uh, the pink coins are what you uh, find. They're like the special coins through the world. After you beat the world, you unlock the purple coins, which are a little bit harder to find. And then you go ahead and unlock the black coin. So basically, every uh, level that you play in this game, you can play it three different times because you get three different experiences if you're trying to actually collect everything in the game. And the black coins, let me tell you, are actually pretty tough. Because the first world alone were kind of tough, so I can only imagine later as you go. Um, they do have something called uh, Toad Rally, which is kind of weird, I thought. Um, I don't really know too much about it so, so much, but well, let's just go ahead and play. Um, choose an opponent. I don't know. Let's just go for this Japanese dude right here. I'm versing him. Basically, you're playing against other people across the world. Their scores is kind of like Ghost. I think it's kind of like uh, Mario Kart back when you uh, race other people's ghosts in Mario Kart. It's kind of the same thing here, but um, a platforming type game. So don't really know exactly. Uh, you're supposed to get the toads to cheer for you. Let's see how good I am. I'm probably going to stink. All right, got that. And all you do is tap to play this game. So it's really cool. And as you can see, it looks like we're losing right now. Oh, man, I just for some reason didn't jump. I didn't grab that. Alright, okay, you don't have to hold it in. You just tap it and you can actually... Uh, it just grabs it for you. So everything looks like it's pretty automatic in this game. Uh, and you have little stopping stones there. Wow. <laughs> As you can see, I haven't really played this game too much yet. This is definitely a first impressions video. Okay, so you have to stop there. Wow, those just keep going, huh? This is actually pretty challenging, actually. Wow. I suck. Hmm. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But yeah, and uh, the enemies, I think you just tap and you will kill the enemies, so... I don't think I did very good. We're probably going to lose, honestly. And here we go. And Toadette... I, I failed miserably. Uh, like I said, this is kind of like I'm really new to this. I only beat the first level. Uh, this is really kind of my first time playing Told Rally, so I don't really know too much about it. Oh, that's cool. So you go and it shows you how you did versus the guy down there. And wow, the guy down there didn't do too good either, it looks like. Huh. So it looks like I won, I guess. And survey says, yeah. I wonder if he had zero. That's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know if maybe his internet connection lost or something, but hey, uh, his loss is my is my game, so <laughs> we're not going to worry about that. But yeah, that's Told Rally. I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of uh, Told Rally. Let's go back to the kingdom. And I guess you can actually make your own, like, overworld. Like, you can customize it right here. We're not going to go. We're going to focus mainly on the main game. I just wanted to show you a little bit of Told Rally. Um... And this is my first time playing this level, so let's just see how bad I really am. Uh, <laughs> if, that, if that last level is any indication. Ghost Door Deception. Here we go.
Okay, so it looks like it's going to be secret doors. Okay, so you, you can't go through that door, so you got to avoid that door. Oh, that door's not there no more. And Mario, if you haven't noticed by now, he just automatically runs. You don't have to run. And uh, you just tap to jump. That's all you do. It's a really simple concept of the game. And uh, tap here, jump up here. And what's in this door? Oh, and you go right back down. So you're supposed to jump over that door, I guess. Oh, the door just disappeared because I already went through it. Okay, I want to get that coin. See, if I wouldn't have jumped over that door, he would have automatically went in that door. So it looks like I'm already missing a coin. I'm already missing a coin because they get you get them in order. Alright. There's that coin. Wow, I'm missing another coin. This is... Wow. So i am already missed two coins. And the level is over. So check that out. Check how hard it actually is to get all the coins in this game. Um, it's one of those games where it has a lot of replay value because as you can see, I just went through it the first time. I only got two out of the five coins. So you want to actually get all these coins because you can connect your My Nintendo account and you get certain rewards for how good you do in the game, uh, which is really cool, I think. Uh, this really definitely has a lot of replay value, I think, because even once you beat the game, you can go through it two more times and get different coins. And if you're a completionist, this might, you know, you might get $10 worth. You know, I thought $10 is a little high, but now that I'm actually playing it, there is quite a lot to do. Um, and I just died right there, so that's cool. Yeah. And you got little air bubbles just like a new Super Mario Bros. Wii, if you guys remember that. Okay, I had to wait for that to jump for me. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's as, as cool as you can get for a Mario game. You know, I, I kind of don't like having... Uh, I like having full control of Mario. It's, I don't really like being able just to tap. But I guess it is a cool concept. It actually turned it into more of a puzzle game, really, than a platformer. It's kind of like a platformer, but... To me, more of a, it feels like a puzzle game because if you actually want to try to get all the coins, you gotta jump at the perfect times. And that's a new thing. Okay, you got, um, oh, you know what? I think if you hold the screen, you jump higher. That's why we're not making these jumps. Yeah, there you go. Uh, they tell you that in the tutorial, but I forgot all about it and I just did it again. But yeah, guys, um, I'm not gonna make this game or, or this video too much longer. I'm failing miserably at it. Not too good at it right now, but like I said, I just downloaded it. I did buy it. I did pay $10 on this game. I will get better at it. It's definitely a different type of Mario game. You just tap the screen. The longer you hold on the screen, the higher Mario will jump. And uh, right now, as you can see, I'm not too great at it, but I will get better at it. It's definitely different. I'm a Mario master. I'm really good at Mario games. This is definitely a different type of Mario game, more of a puzzle game where you tap the screen and the longer you press on the screen, the higher he will jump. So I will get the physics down. I will 100% this game because I did buy it. So I will obviously beat the game. But should you download this game is the question. If you like puzzle games and you like platformers, this might justify a download of $10. If you're like me and you like just traditional Mario games where you have full control of Mario and this looked kind of annoying to you, you might want to pass and just download it for free and play the first level. All I can say, guys, download it for free because it's free. They let you play the complete first uh, few levels for free. And if you like it, then go ahead and buy it. So I liked it enough to justify buying it. I like to buy anything Mario, so to me, it was worth it. But leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's pretty much all for right now, and there'll be more to come shortly, guys. Thanks again.